So guys, just gotta be a bit honest here right now. Since day one, I walked in to this ring, I took a look around, and I saw my future. I saw you guys, I saw the fans, and I'm thinking, what a lovely environment I'm glad to be in. But, not too long ago, I did unthinkable. I hear the crowd cheer, I hear the fans cheer, I hear the roar, I heard them waving their flags. Zayn did the unthinkable. I won the PW Universe World Champion. And I did it with you guys. I want to say thank you. Thank you for them supporting me. Thank you for the guys who have been in the back supporting me. Thank you. For giving me all of that motivation, all that fire in me. But then came a problem. At the same time, we were crowned a new number one contender. Now, I didn't have to be too sharp to think about who it was going to be. I knew it was going to be, but I also knew the consequences that were, that were happen. You see, then I recently lost the world champion. On my first defense, I ain't happy about that. But what I'm also mad about is that one little person. No, not the guy who took the champion off away from me. He deserves a world champion. And I'm giving his congratulations right now through his microphone for that day. Brandon Sharp. Congratulations. Congratulations to being the biggest jackass I've ever seen in this ring. There's one thing that you did. See, you say you're the so-called king of his world? Nah, mate, you ain't king. You're just a big coward of this world. You see, you came down that ramp, you came in this ring, and you had a replacement. Because you knew you were too scared to face me. You were too scared to face me when I had the big gold around my waist. And what do you do after you call your replacement? What do you do? You strike right after them. And look where you are now. You should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself for calling you yourself a champion. You should be proud of yourself calling yourself a king. You ain't no king. Because you already surrendered to me. I'm the real king around this world. I'm the uncrowned king. So PWU, acknowledge me. Acknowledge me as the real king around PWU. Acknowledge me as the phenomenal badass around here. Because they ain't acknowledging you, Brandon. With gold or no gold. The only thing they acknowledge you 
as a bootleg version of a Panama City Playboy, baby. So, Brandon, I'm going to put your money where your mouth is. Since you're not a king, you're not even a subject. You're not even worthy to lace up my boots. But don't worry. I can use my own pair of hands to lace my own boots up. Bitch boy. You see, Brandon? At the next event, Pride. You got something that I want back. Not just my world champion. It's that ass whipping boy. And it's got your name on the receipt. So Brandon, at Pride. It ain't gonna be just a one on one match. No, I ain't challenging you. Cause I cause I've earned it. I deserve my title back. I don't care who you ask. I don't care if you ask the fans around here. They know I earn my title back. I don't care if you ask Mal. He knows I earn my title back. And he be ready to whip your ass. You see? You're not just going to have an easy one-on-one normal match. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Brandon. The time's call. It's the final calling for your night. Brandon, at Pride, you will defend that world champion against me in an Iron Man match. Oh, yeah. Ain't gonna be one fall to the finish. We're gonna do something that you can't do, and, we're, and I can do, and that's keep it all night long, boy. But Brandon, if you got the balls, either you show up, on that day or you surrender that title back to me either way your title reign is gonna goodbye and it will be a good night bang too sweet